Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I know this is a bit of a different view. I'm outside today and I have my new Making Memories mat that Robert gave me for my birthday. Um, birthday is not till Tuesday, but I really wanted one of these. So it came in the mails. I'm so excited. So anyway, um, um, what was I saying? Many of you guys know we just moved, like literally. So a lot of my stuff is tightly in the garage which is where I'll be crafting um, from here on. So um, I'm gonna work that out later. But today's project is brought to you by Wilder Good Crafts. As a member of the, the Wild Bunch, I have a cute, cute project for you today. By the way, I will be giving that one away too. But first things first, we will take care of the winner from last week's um, projects, which was this super cute um, Mad Tea Party Love mini album. So if you didn't get a chance to see this video, I will post the link in the description box. And the winner for this one is, because I don't have any editing software right now, um, is Lovely Mom in 3. And her response was um, that she, for the summer activity, she loves doing anything with her babies. So she has three little girls. So, so excited for you um, to have this Miss Jamie. So thank you guys so much for playing um, last week. Some of your comments were awesome to read. Like um, some of you like to just go out on the beach. Some of you like to sit in the front porch, listen to the birds, um, catching butterflies. Um, they were um, catching lightning bugs, going camping. It was so many activities. So Thank you guys so much um, for sharing that. So uh, this week's project is, and at this point I'll probably put in the video of the supplies that I used because I did that before I recorded this video. So let's take a quick break. I'll put that in of the supplies that I used from Wild Creek Crafts and then we'll come back. Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I'm here with a design team project for Wild Orchid Crafts as a member of the Wild Bunch. And I'm so super excited to share today's project with you guys, which will be um, given away um, next week. So, and also stay tuned for the winner of last week's giveaway. But first, let me share with you the items that I used. I used a 20 millimeter white open roses. Sorry about the lighting, guys. Just moved and I'm working on stuff here. Um, I also use the 50 Mix Pastel Color Cherry Blossoms. Love these. Oh my gosh. Love, love, love those. Okay. I use the Miniature um, 50 Mix Color Gardenia. Hope you guys can see this okay. Very pretty. I also use the um, Champagne Pink Hip Rosebuds. In the two-tone, these are so gorgeous. So, so, so gorgeous. I use the Hip Rose Buzz in the off-white. Very, very pretty. I also use the Mixed Flowers in white, but I use the Carnations right there. They come in a mixed pack like this, so you get some some trellis roses and some curly roses and some oh blossoms really really cute pack and I use the carnations I also use the mixed vintage color open roses and these are 20 millimeter and I use the pink ones in here out of this pack gorgeous colors can't wait for fall I'll be using those and then finally I used the ivory um, pearl spray just a couple of pieces off of the spray Okay, as always, all of the product will be listed in the description box as well as the link to Wild Orchid Crab's online store and their Facebook page. So stay tuned for the projects. Thanks guys for watching. Okay. Ta da! <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I love it. It's a mini milk carton, um, four milk carton tote. Super cute. I use the botanical paper. Um, so, 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 so pretty. I love it. Um, okay, let's go over it because my, I'm going to reduce my shaking. So there's four milk cartons. So I'll take them out. And like I said, this I will be giving away, um, on next week's video. So, because I am collecting 
so much you realize that when you move how many projects you collect so I will be having a project sale stay tuned for that and I'll be giving away a lot more things so here is the base It's cut out of uh, pink cardstock it's a double-sided tote look at that paper it's so gorgeous this is the front lovely stickled I use the cherry blossoms some open roses I use the silver filigrees I stickled everything with my distress stickles um, this is just um, this paper was gifted to me by Alicia Alicia who's Alicia Glitz and more I'll put her link in the description box thank you so much lady it's super super gorgeous and I had used some of the pearl sprays and ivory and that's the front I love how that cluster looks it's super super cute see all the stickles oh, I love to hear the birds um, that's random but <laughs> it's so nice out here um, I use the pearl flat back pearl strands around the whole box and in the back I use some more of the silver filigree corners I use another collection of the cherry blossoms and the open roses and there's the paper this was cut out using my silhouette cameo it's a file from um, it's a file can't remember the person's name and then I used some of some of this lace and I put uh, pearl trim in the center it's polka dot ruffled lace super cute you could put goodies in here and um, give it to someone else or you can have this on your stand okay so here's the first box all of it is cut out in the white cardstock and then I layered the paper on all of the sides and that's the cluster that I created I colored seam binding with um, Lindy Stamp Gang and Tattered Angels um, Glimmer and Shimmer Mist and look at the cute gardenia, uh, gardenias I used some um, hip rosebuds in the pink and hip in the white some cherry blossoms and that's oh darn it there's nothing in these boxes of course you guys know that by now I used a white clothespin on here so it's, it's really altering clothespins um, but I put the cluster right in the middle so that the recipient can just open the box and put the goodies in there I put that right there and then you just clip the clothespin on top to keep it closed so you can open and close it and it's not tied down permanently okay that's the first box and then the second box is this one so cute love it altered um, the box the same with some more of the chipboard pieces and there's my cluster I'll take it off I use the pink open roses I use some of the carnation flowers and the cherry blossoms and this is the brown seam binding super cute I love it love it love it so whoever wins this I'm sure you'll like it too it's super shabby super shimmery okay and then on this side we have this box cute 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 paper and there's that cluster use the pink gardenia for the carnations hip rosebuds in the two-tone pink and the white And then the last box is a blue box. So, so cute. And then that says Tea Party. Two uh, chipboard clusters or pieces um, together. And this cute seam sim binding is one of my favorite colors. Another hip rosebud, carnation, and a gardenia. So, so, so cute. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. There it is. Okay. So again, um, thank you so much to um, for last week's winner, Lovely Mom and Three. I'll put your name in the link in the description box because um, you won this this mini album. So send me a private message with your address, lady, and I'll get this shipped off to you. And if you would like to be entered to win this project for this week, for um, my design team project for Wild Orchid Crafts, um, seeing as though. I'm celebrating my birthday this weekend what fun thing that you did to celebrate your birthday what is the funnest thing that you did to celebrate your birthday so super excited to see I think to see what you guys created so 
um, or what you guys did for your birthday. So be sure to check out Wild Orchid Crafts. Be sure to check out the links in the description box and hopefully you guys will play along. All right guys, bye.